Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, if you're new to the channel and if you enjoyed this video. Let's not blame Anthony Joshua, okay? Do me a favor and do not blame Anthony Joshua. If this fight doesn't get made, okay? If Deontay Wilder rejects the, the, the zone deal, right? The three fight, $100 million, the zone deal. That's not Anthony Joshua's fault. You understand me? It's not Anthony Joshua's fault that Deontay Wilder didn't accept that offer. Because with Deontay Wilder fans, they like to act like it's Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua's fault, that this fight wasn't made, that Deontay Wilder rejected these offers. They they try they try and uh, twist it and, and, and make it out to be like it was Joshua's fault. Okay? Like, the reason Deontay Wilder didn't take this offer is because something to do with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn had something to do with it. It's always Eddie Hearn's fault. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's always Joshua's fault. Especially Eddie Hearn's fault. They're gonna if, if, if this man does not accept this deal, they're going to try and twist the, the story and make it seem like and then try and, and, and make this uh fabricate fabricated story and try to make it seem like it was Eddie Hearn's fault. And this is why this fight didn't happen. You know, Eddie Hearn came out and he said he's gonna stay quiet. He's gonna stay quiet. Because they were asking him about the, the zone deal with Deontay Wilder. And Eddie Hearn was saying, listen, I'm going to stay quiet. Because whenever I talk, uh, you know, it, it seems that the fight doesn't get made. And, and then everyone blames him, right? So he's going to just stay quiet and let the zone work out the deal with Deontay Wilder themselves. Because, you know, everyone loves to blame Eddie Hearn. And they say it's his fault that this fight's not happening. He, he really don't want this fight to happen. So that's why Eddie Hearn came out with that IFL TV interview. Shout out to IFL TV and said, "No, I'm gonna just stay quiet and let the zone do what they what you know. Let John Skipper do what he needs to do to get Deontay Wilder to face Anthony Joshua." And so far, it looks like you know he's offering him that hundred million dollar three fight deal. So it it all lies on Deontay Wilder. If this man says no, if he joins Showtime, if he does a 180 and, and joins ESPN. Um, because supposedly Deontay Wilder is going to be making a announcement in a, on a press conference sometime in, uh, I think Tuesday, I believe February, I mean, excuse me, I believe March 19th. Uh, and he's going to announce basically what's going to happen in his career. He's probably going to announce the Dominic Brazil fight, but in that same press conference, he's probably going to announce if he's joining the zone or if he's joining Showtime or whatever, Right. So that's when we're all going to really find out, you know, and I really hope that I don't hear, you know, Deontay Wilder joins ESPN, Deontay Wilder joins Showtime. I, I really hope he saves the zone because, like I said, you can't blame and put all the blame on Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua if Deontay Wilder rejects this, okay? Because if it was the other way around and if, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder was fighting on the zone and then we heard rumors with that you know anthony joshua was going to the zone and they offer and the zone offers them 100 million dollars for this whole three fight deal and then anthony joshua rejects it you guys will be all over anthony joshua calling him a duck or a coward saying he, he see this proves that he really doesn't want it so you know do the same thing for deontay wilder if he rejects this deal that should let, should let you know that he really doesn't want this fight so how can you blame anthony joshua it's always Anthony Joshua's fault, man. It's always Eddie Hearn's fault. <laughs> How can you possibly blame Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn for Deontay Wilder's decision and not accepting this offer? Again, uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. But I'm just saying, don't make don't make these twisted story and try to and and make it and make it and then blame Eddie Hearn and say that it was his fault. Eddie Hearn has nothing. To, None to this offer. Eddie Hearn is, is shutting up and he's and he's being quiet because he's just letting the zone convince Deontay Wilder to to to, to uh, have this fight with his his boy Anthony Joshua. So please, man, don't blame Anthony Joshua if Deontay Wilder rejects his offer. It's it's all his fault. 